Monday, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot to do your year ahead, 2022. What is it going to have for you? I'm um, going to do a little bit different. Always doing something different, right? So these are the decks. I'm going to use four different decks to do your reading for uh, 2022. And I just I put the boxes here so you could see in case you wanted to get any of these decks for yourself. Um, I'm going to do a, one card from each deck. Um, so we'll have four cards for each month, and we'll look it over that way. Um, and then we'll close it out with um, six cards, Donna's Destiny cards. <laughs> oh, and I'm, I'm probably going to do a, um, I don't want to run long, but um, we'll do a um, Moonology card and a Spellcasting card if we don't go too long. I don't want to drag on. So let me get these out of the way. And, oh, shit. <laughs> and get started. All right, so let's get started. So January. Um, for January 2022 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So it looks like you're going to be a little more patient. Um, that's good. Um, some traveling. You're going to walk away from something that is emotionally unfulfilling and um, have ending and new beginning. So you're going to start a new chapter in love or something that, you know, for emotional fulfillment. All right, so that is January. So traveling, being more patient, walking away from something, and starting a new chapter in love. Interesting, because in February, it looks like you're going to be... It looks like wish fulfillment, actually. So something is actually... Well, are you going to be realistic about it, though? Because the Seven of Cups shows lots of options, possibly, um, wish fulfillment, what makes you, um, which, you know, what is making you very, very happy, what you've always wanted. Um, and then you waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for things to, uh, pan out, you know, see how things work, but you're going to be very spicy with people. Um, very, very upfront and very honest and not hold back. So let's see. Hopefully I'm not going too fast either. I just didn't want to drag on because, I mean, these year-long reads can take forever if you're not careful. Um, so, there it is again. The Seven of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so we've already got a theme. So, lots of options or unrealistic thinking. March. And this is interesting because March in the United States, um, a lot of people uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day, which involves lots of drinking and overdoing things, right? What do we have for March? The temptation card. It's like the devil card. Um, overdoing it, overindulging, indulging in bad habits. So yeah, doing it up. Not being realistic. Um, and you have also have the seven of pentacles too. So two sevens. So actually March might be a lucky month for you. Um, or you might get lucky. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Ace of pentacles, um, a new start in something um, that's very, uh, something stable. You, you start something very stable. Could be um, something to, to make money, some kind of new money-making venture, possibly. Um, or you could just open a, a different account to say, you know, for saving or investing or something like that, who knows. Um, but lots of options and then possibly unrealistic thinking and love. So you may see lots of options, but you may not be looking at them realistically. That would be March. So giving into temptation looking over things and seeing how far you've come whether it be with relationships with your life you know whatever so let's see um, yeah april now april might be a little bit challenging because you're trying to manifest something there is a possibility that someone might manipulate you um it could be emotional manipulation and you having a hard time making a decision because emotions cloud your judgment and you're going to feel burdened in some way. So if, it's, if, if you're dealing with a person who is doing, you know, manipulation, emotional manipulation, then you might be trying to decide whether or not to let go of them um, because you may, be, you may feel burdened by them. Because, you know, there's some, dis it just, you just feel disappointed in love. That's in April. Feeling kind of disappointed in love. Um, May so far is looking good because there's the seven of pentacles again. So again, 
Oh, and then as far as um, signs involved with the sevens, seven of cups is Scorpio, seven of pentacles is Taurus. Um, so as far as people in your life or people you're dealing with, or it could be, you know, well, you're Taurus, so there's that. Um, you could be dealing with another Taurus. Um, and what did I say? Scorpio, right? Seven of cups is Scorpio. So, all right, so for May, you could be doing lots of work. Um, there's a lot of work coming your way. Um, this could be an offer of love, um, but you're going to be looking things over and just kind of analyzing things. And you have um, the Knight of Swords, so that's messages coming in um, very, very quickly, maybe with a little bit of spice to them. <laughs> so someone, oh, that might be you. As far as love, it might, well, this is a money card though. Um, but it, in love, the seven of pentacles is looking over how far you've come with someone, or it just could be you look it over your money situation. Um, because you do have, um, two earth cards. You have the eight of earth and the seven of pentacles. It's, it's the same thing. Eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles, pretty much. Um, so looking how far you've come doing lots of, you know, putting in a lot of work and seeing how far you've come. So... I think money may be doing pretty well in May. It looks like you're definitely getting a love offer from someone, but it could be someone really young or that someone just acts young. It could be someone who's immature. Um, so June, June, you have um, fast movement, but you're going to feel burned. There's that 10 of wands again. So 10 of wands would be a, a Sagittarius card. And there's the King of Swords. Um, nine of wands so oh so there's gonna be a lot of activity in June um, maybe a lot of passion but you're gonna be cautious um, maybe yeah, there's gonna be fast movement but you're gonna feel like there's gonna be kind of a burden and there's gonna be you're gonna be very clear about what you want very clear about a lot of things but you're going to be cautious. You are going to be cautious in June. July is looking... How the hell do you have... Okay. July, you may be experiencing some heartbreak. Because. There's this. Okay. But that was after I pulled this. Which means the same thing, for the most part in the good tarot so something is gonna weigh heavy on your heart but you have what well, i said what the hell because i pulled out the three of air which is like the three of swords the judgment guard and then the ten of cups how do you have the ten of cups unless it's the end because tens can um be endings too and endings a new beginning so you know an ending in love and a new beginning so I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but possibly July could be. So you're have there's June's gonna be a lot really passionate. You could have there could be a lot of sex, um, and then July there could be a lot of heartbreak. Because um, you're making a judgment call on something. Maybe to let someone go. I, I don't know. They just it looks like you, it's it's a very heartbreaking month. July is I don't want to be the bear bad news but um august and there's the queen of swords didn't we just have the king of swords yeah we did he's right there all right so the six of air is moving on to calmer waters king of cups um is you know a masculine energy that, um just to have it being very loving but that could be you, what male or female, that could be you just being, you know, being very loving. Um, generous, but not like showy. But then there's the Queen of Swords, which, which is um, <laughs> kind of like a bitchy card, like just not taking any shit. And then you have the Death card, <laughs> Death and Rebirth. So, 
Okay, so moving on to calmer waters, being very clear and about things and big changes. That's in August, so. Hmm. I would say look out for July though. July, August, here's September. So you have the Seven of Pentacles again, the Seven of Earth. You have the Death card again, and that's in August. Right now, not sorry, this, wait. May, June, July, August, September, okay. And the Five of Cups. So this summer is not, as far as emotional, you know, as far as relationships, or if it's relationship, something is gonna be emotionally, um, disappointing heartbreaking because uh and it's gonna be this summer so even though your money i think your money is gonna look great i have a feeling that your money is doing well but you've got the death card in august and then again in september And the Five of Cups in September. And the Seven of Earth looking things over. Uh, but you have the Knight of Cups too. So you're gonna get I think you're gonna have an offer of love coming in. And you know, it might just be in September you're gonna change the way that you look at things. Your your perception of how you go about doing things, you're gonna change. You're gonna look over and analyze the way you've done things and then make big changes so that mature, more mature love can come in. Because we didn't we have a page earlier, so now we have a, a knight. And then all that we did, we have the king of cups here, there's, there's that. So September, here's October. Nine of Earth. October, you're, it looks like you may be single for a minute. But you're going to be taking a risk. So, look at that. Hangman. Okay, so, you have the Nine of Earth. That's like the Nine of Pentacles. Um, the card of being single and having it all and being just happy on your own and not needing anybody else. Um, but the Five of Pentacles, feeling poor um, and feeling like you're lacking. So then, and feeling stuck and then just saying, fuck it and taking the risk. So, that's in October. see like a really good love card where's November what's going on in November there's the full card again so there's you taking that risk the king of cups so we had the knight of cups here and then with the king of cups here and the two of cups okay so November is looking a lot better for love now you do have the four of water uh, so that's sometimes that's like apathy or boredom but you have the full card again, where you're taking a risk. You have the King of Cups, and then you have the Two of Cups. And I did say, when are we gonna get something good for love? So November looks really good for love. December, <laughs> Jesus. Um, maybe this is what you get when you do four different decks. Oh my God, yeah. So someone, December, you're gonna, um, <laughs> you are going to be fighting with someone who's very, very passionate. Um, and very tempting, but they're gonna, they like to fight and argue, and you're gonna wanna walk away, this is December, you're gonna wanna, this, this time next year, you're gonna wanna walk away from um, something that's not emotionally fulfilling, it's passionate, it's hot and sexy, but there's just too much arguing and bickering, and that is in December. Is there anything good? <laughs> What's good? What do we have that's good? First of all, let's do an oracle card or two. Because, holy crap, man! It's your your year is up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, I'm not a big fan of your July. <laughs> the, I mean, financially things look good, but with the love situation, not so much. Have faith in your dreams. And what else? But I want to like just. I'm gonna ask the cards what good things are coming your way in 2022. Passion. <laughs> so 
Have faith in your dreams and passion. It says the waxing crescent moon. All right, so what kind of good things? How can we read these as good things? Um, are those going to be... Oh, I like this. So there's going to be a spirit of teamwork. Oh, there's the five of swords. Always got a good something good and then something coming along to shit on it. All right, so you have the three of water. That's like reconciliation and happiness. You have the hermit. So, you know, you may be spending some time alone, but, you know, seeking out answers. But you also have the three of pentacles. Oh, damn. I hope that's not a... Three is a crown, you know what I'm saying? Because um, then you have the five of swords. And that's fighting. Being on... And just being stressed. But reconciling and working together. So there's going to be a reconciliation and working together. That's the good stuff. <laughs> I don't know how the five of swords would be good. How can we... Can we get some clarification on how Five of Swords can be good? Unless you're trying to avoid fighting by putting your throwing yourself into your work and things that you feel passionate about. Oh, okay, that's cool. So, putting yourself into your work and doing things that you feel very passionate about, um, working on some kind of, whether it's a project, um, maybe a business that you're starting or something, something, putting a lot of work into something that you feel passionate about. So to avoid being all up in your head and let your thoughts run away with you. What is this 10 of pentacles? And a pen? Oh, that's an interesting way to put that. It's a three of pentacles, but I looked at it and said, what's this ten of pentacles? So what is this three of pentacles about? Um, working together with someone that maybe pushed you away and kept you in the dark and was bossy. <laughs> um, hopefully you don't find yourself dealing with somebody that is dealing with someone else as well. There may be, hopefully there's not a third person um, that you're, you know, you're dealing with someone who is a third person. What's the three of water? See, there's a five of air, which is like the five of swords. That five of swords keeps showing up in different versions, doesn't it? So there might be some bickering in 2022. You might have somebody you're arguing with. There may be some arguing. Um, and what's the Hermit card? Hmm. And that's a Taurus card. So, you have the, underneath the Hermit, the, the Ace of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So you may be seeking answers and getting some clarity. Um, to just balance things out. Maybe that's what the uh, the Three of Pentacles is all about. Working together to try to bring things into balance. Um, I don't know if this has provided any clarity whatsoever. Try not to overindulge <laughs> in March. And... Um, Go easy on yourself in July, around July, um, the summer. If there's any kind of heartbreak, um, do self-care, take care of you. Six cards, not as destiny, and I'm just going to close this out because I don't want to drag this thing on. All right, so five cards for from Donna's Destiny for your year 2022. What five cards will sum up 2022 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> well, wedding bells, um, that's interesting. Maybe that's who you're going to be fighting with. Flirt more. 
Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you to everyone who has hit like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to hit like on this one. Um, when you hit like, it gets the videos out further. Um, lots of people desiring you. That's an R. <laughs> and you need rest, take a break. So you've probably been burning the candle at both ends too, huh? And a new look. Uh, bottom, oh, watch your driving. That's the bottom of the deck. All right, Taurus, I hope this has helped. Um, feel free to hit like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next read. All right.